Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. We start this game with six empty glasses that are placed in a row. You can number the glasses from one to six starting from the left. We roll a standard die, and whatever number we roll, we're going to fill that glass with liquid. If we roll another number, we fill that glass with liquid. If we roll a number for a glass that's already full, we're going to drink that glass so that it becomes empty. We continue playing this game by rolling the dice and continue filling up glasses or emptying them as necessary. At some point, we might have five glasses that are full. If we roll a number for the empty glass, then we're going to fill that glass and then we have to drink all six of the glasses and at this point the game ends. The question for you is starting from the beginning of the game, what is the average number of rolls until the game ends? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. The answer is that it's going to take approximately 80, it's going to take about 83.2 rolls for this game to end. Let's see why. We're going to start imagining from nearly the end of the game. Imagine you have five full glasses. How many rolls on average is it going to take for the game to end at this point? We're going to write E of X for the rolls needed if we already have X full glasses. So if we have five full glasses, we have E of five is going to be given by a certain equation. There are two things that can happen when we roll the dice. There's a one six chance we're going to get the number for the empty glass. At this point, the game is going to end. So there's a one six chance that our game is going to end in one turn. However, there's a five six chance we're going to roll a number for one of the glasses that's already full. At this point, we're going to drink one of the glasses, so we end up in a state of the game that has four full glasses. So in five six of the cases, it's going to take us one turn to get to the state of having four full glasses. Now, how many rolls is it going to take when we have four full glasses? We can do a similar equation. If we have four full glasses, then there's a two six chance we're going to roll one of the empty glasses, which means it's going to take us one turn to get to the state of five full glasses. There will also be a four six chance that we're going to roll a number for one of the glasses that's full. So we're going to drink a glass, which means we'll only have three full glasses. So it's going to take us one turn to get to the state of three full glasses. Well, now we have to figure out what's going to happen if we have three full glasses. We can similarly write an equation. There's a three six chance we're going to go to the state of having one, four full glasses. And there's also a three six chance that we're going to go to the state of having two full glasses. Well, now we need to figure out what happens if we have two full glasses. And we can similarly figure out that there's another equation that describes it in terms of the states of going to three full glasses or one full glass. Now we go to the state of having one full glass. There's going to be a five six chance that we roll one of the empty glasses and we end up with two full glasses. Or there's a one six chance that we roll one of the one glass which is full, we drink it and we go to the state of having zero full glasses. The state of having zero full glasses is what the game is at the very beginning. At this state, of course, there's a certain chance, six out of six chance, we're going to roll one of the empty glasses. So it's going to take one turn to get to the state of having one full glass. So now I'm going to copy over the equations that we just described in the following, in the previous slides. So we end up with six equations having six variables, E0 to E5. When you have a linear system of n equations and n variables, you can actually uniquely solve for all of these variables. I'll skip the algebra, but you end up with the, with the result that the expected number of rolls when you have zero glasses full when the game is beginning is 83.2 rolls. So it takes a very, very long time for this game to end. So I would not recommend playing this game. We'll solve for all the other variables, and you can see that even when you have five full glasses, it's going to take 63 more rolls for the game to end. So although there's a one six chance that you're gonna fill that empty glass and just finish the game, it's actually very likely that you're gonna go back and you're gonna end up in these cycles of going through many uh, glasses that are full until you end up finally filling all the glasses and having the game end. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. 
You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.